I had nothing to go off other than this older gentleman's word. But in the back of my mind, I've, I've dealt with older sellers before and I've dealt with mom and pop sellers. My first park, it was a mom and pop seller. She had got offered more than my price, but because we had a handshake, we had a verbal agreement, she stayed with me. She felt like she liked me. She felt like she knew me and she felt like she trusted me and she ended up selling me her part. And so that stored knowledge of, of previous transactions that I've done, I kind of leveraged that and I gambled. And so I caught the flights. I went to visit the park. It was as advertised. It was a nice park, 78 spaces. We got it at a really good price. As I got down there, I reached out to the seller and sure enough, he picks up the phone. I was at the hotel and he wasn't able to meet me the day that I got there, but we ended up going the next day. And so we met the next day. I brought the contract to him. He didn't even read the contract. He sat it right there on his, on the table and just looked it over and signed immediately. We was in and out within a 10 to 15 minute period. And I was heading back to the house, caught two more flights back home. And that's kind of what began the process.